Now, the partial government shutdown is now making history and the 24th day, and there's no end in sight. Nicole Killian has the very latest from the White House. It's already the longest government shutdown in U.S. history, but President Trump says it can't end unless Congress agrees to fund a border wall. We have a priority. It's the safety of our nation. Outside the White House this morning, the president accused congressional Democrats of going AWOL instead of negotiating a deal. I've been here all weekend. A lot of the Democrats were in Puerto Rico celebrating something. I don't know, maybe they're celebrating the shutdown. The president is referring to a group of lawmakers who went to San Juan to attend the musical Hamilton and see ongoing hurricane relief efforts. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer did not go. Democrats say the government will reopen as soon as the president stops insisting on a wall. What we don't want to do is waste taxpayer money on a vanity project that's ineffective that the president said Mexico would pay for. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham suggested temporarily reopening the government to give lawmakers a chance to craft a compromise. That was a suggestion that Lindsey made, but I did, I did reject it, yes. I, I'm not interested. I want to get it solved. I don't want to just delay it. I want to get it solved. A new CBS poll shows 70 percent of Americans are worried the shutdown will hurt the economy. Nearly half blame the shutdown on the president. 30 percent say it's Congress. Fault. Nicole Killian, CBS News, The White House.